popularly known as the S tank. Some people believe it should not be called a tank at all because it lacks a turret. All tanks have a fully tracked chassis which give them good mobility over smooth or uneven ground. Conventional tanks have a gun mounted fairly high above the ground in a revolving turret. The S tank, however, has its 105 mm weapon mounted in the top of the low slung hull, fed by an automatic loader at the rear. The S tank is normally crewed by three men, seated centrally where they are best protected. At a pinch it could be operated by two, or even one man, occupying either of the two front positions. In comparison to a conventional tank, the S tank has a remarkably low silhouette. Lacking a turret, the S tank aims its gun by swiveling its whole chassis. Elevation and depression are achieved by raising or lowering the hydropneumatic suspension. With a combat weight of just under 40 tons, the S-Tank is also capable of traversing smoothly despite minor obstacles in its path. If a larger object gets in its way, it can swivel on its own axis to bring its gun to bear. A low silhouette is an obvious advantage, allowing the S tank to hide easily in a true hull down position awaiting its prey. If cover is not immediately available, it can dig itself in using a frontal dozer blade, which when folded back into the traveling position also adds extra armor protection, particularly to the tracks. The tank elevates and depresses its gun smoothly through 22 degrees, which is better than most tanks can manage. The advanced suspension gives an even ride over tricky obstacles. At the tank's rear, the automatic loader is fed to capacity with 50 rounds. The crew scramble into their positions. The internal layout, though futuristic in appearance, is designed for maximum simplicity of operation. This eases crew fatigue and makes them more efficient. The driver usually aims and fires the gun acting on directions from the commander. However, the commander has duplicate controls and can take over at will using his gyro stabilized sights. This can be important when an unexpected target suddenly appears. As soon as a target presents itself, the S-Tank comes to a halt and engages. Cartridge cases are automatically ejected after firing, saving clutter within the vehicle. 
The tank can then move forward again. Should a threat to the flank emerge, the commander can traverse to meet it or lay down smoke from his eight dischargers and tell the third crew member to beat a hasty retreat. This man is normally the radio operator, but he has his own rearward facing driving control. The S tank has built in flotation screens which can be erected quickly to make it fully amphibious. In the water, the tank is propelled and steered by its tracks. For all its advanced technology though, including a gas turbine engine to give easy starting in cold weather, and a subsidiary engine to keep the systems ticking over while stationary, the S-Tank has one major drawback. It cannot fire while on the move, which makes it primarily a defensive rather than an offensive weapon system.